Mind is very important thing. When you fill your mind with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. With this beautiful thought, let's begin the day. Today, we'll be discussing numerical portion of this particular chapter, the numericals which are not being covered in previous videos and are somewhat important. So, let's have a look on a very first numerical. Question is given as, a house uses a tube light of 1000 watt. Jab tak humne 1000 watt tak pada, one thing should strike in our mind that it's what it means. Power is given. So, write it. Power given is 1000 watt. Which works for 12 hours per day. Iske corresponding time is given that is time is 12 hours per day. And a fan of 500 watt which is used for 3 hours per day. It means here two things are talked about that is a tube light and a fan. So it's better to make two different cases of tube light and fan. So let it be case 1 of tube light and here is case 2 of fan. Power here is 500 watt time is 3 hours let it be p1 t1 and it be p2 t2 now because question is find the monthly bill of the house if one unit cost rupees 2 when monthly bill is asked what we have to do we have to find electrical energy how much electrical energy is being consumed we had done in previous classes also the formula of electrical energy is power into time when it comes to E1 because we are talking about tube light case first. So it will be P1 into T1 when it comes to E2 it is P2 into T2. This is the very basic thing which should be kept in mind while solving the numerical. As soon as you will get an answer of which particular formula should be used, within seconds you will be able to solve the question until and unless there should not be numerical mistakes or calculative error. Now, you must be remembering, I have told you, when it comes to bill, it means we are talking about commercial unit of electrical energy and commercial unit of electrical energy is actually kilowatt hour. It means when we have to talk in kilowatt hour, power should be in kilowatt and time should be in hours. Just check in this case, power is in watt, time is in hours. We are okay with the time because it's in hours, no problem. The problem is with power because it's given in watt. So we have to convert it into kilowatt with the help of dividing it by 1000. So the answer is 1 kilowatt. Now you can calculate energy as E1 is equals to 1 into 12 that is 12 kilowatt hour is the energy which is consumed by tube light for a particular day because here 12 hours are, is the consumption given for a particular day. Let's come to case 2. Here also you have to convert the power that is given in watt into kilowatt. So your answer will be 0.5 kilowatt. Multiplying 0.5 by 3 you will be getting 1.5 kilowatt hour. Up now electrical consumption is not only by a tube light or by fan. It is because of these two devices for this particular home. So what we have to do, we have to add on the total energy, E is equals to E1 plus E2. Adding it, we will be getting 13.5 kilowatt hour. Total energy which is being consumed by tube light and fan within a particular day. Question is asked regarding monthly bill. They are asking for a month and when month is not given to you like they haven't given you uh, June, July or January. So what you have to do? 
standardized notation we are taking that is into 30 we will imagine that there are 30 days not 31 days we will be taking 30 days and what we will be doing is ye per day ka tha, for 30 days multiply it by 30 you will be getting the answer as 405 that is 405 kilowatt hour this is the energy consumption by tube light and fan for a particular month that is that is 30 days now what you have to do this is the consumption Ab, if one unit cost rupees 2 cost of one unit is given as 2 aapne kai bar aisa ghar pe baat hoti hogi ki like 5 units ho gayi ac band karo 5 units ho gayi 7 units ho gayi bahut zyada bijli ka bil aayega especially in terms of summers so what is this actually this unit is the value of kilowatt hour so just look here 1 kilowatt hour is equals to 1 unit standardized ek assumption hai ki 1 kilowatt hour 1 unit ke barabar hota hai it means 405 405 kilowatt hour is equals to 405 units it means for a particular month for a month tube light and fan consumes 405 units now one unit cost rupees 2 we have to find the cost of we, we have to find how much bill will be there for this house we have to find what is the bill for this house so 405 units ka hume nikalna hai one unit cost rupees 2 then 405 units will cost rupees 810 and this is the monthly bill for this home provided that tube light and fan are only on working mode and they also for 12 hours per day and fan for 3 hours per day this is actually the method by which we can solve the questions of electrical energy the important thing kept in mind should be ki when we have to put the formula with respect to kilowatt hour like when we have to put the formula for energy in kilowatt hour so whenever it's given a unit word is given ki you have to express electrical energy in terms of units or in a question bill question aata hai ya rupees ka koi question aata hai it means you have to put the formula for electrical energy as kilowatt hour in terms of its commercial unit now let's do a numerical based on series and parallel combination in earlier lecture what we had done we had done the numerical of only series and only parallel combination now what we are doing we are finding the same quantities but now the combination is the sum of series and parallel like series and parallel combination are combined together and then the values of total resistance current and potential across each resistor is being asked so what we have to do in such type of questions firstly write the given name first resistor as r1 it is 1 ohm r2 is given as 2 ohm and r3 is given as 3 ohm potential is given in the question that is 4 volt firstly what we have to do we have to find total resistance for finding out total resistance what we have to do we have to simplify this complex circuit so very easily it is noticeable that these two are parallel to each other that is we can say r2 is parallel to r3 so we can calculate rp with this formula 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 that is equal to 6 5 by 6 is the value of 1 upon rp for rp it is 6 upon 5 so what we have to do firstly we have to simplify the circuit we have to reduce the number of resistors being used in a circuit so we can reduce these two resistors with 
a single resistor of 6 by 5 ohm. So, we can reduce this circuit as 1 ohm to as it is rega. Combination of these two resistors is 6 by 5 ohm. 4 volt potential is there. Now, very easily this is also noticeable that 1 ohm and 6 by 5 ohm that is what is 1 ohm here? 1 ohm is R1 is in series with Rp that is for getting series combination answer you simply have to add it because in series combination we have to add on the two resistors that is 6 by 5 plus 1 and the answer will be 11 by 5 ohm. Again reducing these two resistors with a single resistor of 11 by 5 ohm we can simplify the circuit 11 by 5 ohm here is a battery of its 4 volt 11 by 5 ohm now what we have to do firstly this part is clear this is the answer for the total resistance in the circuit now we have to find out current and potential across each resistor firstly when solving this part you have to use backward flow method like you have to solve the question from here you don't have to solve the question from here if you will start solving from this side it can increase your complexity so what you have to do solve from this side for each and every resistor we have to calculate the value of potential along with the value for current so let's talk about for this case rt let's name it as rt or let it be rs series combination ka answer hai ye. rs is 11 by 5 ohm potential in the circuit is 4 volt we have to calculate the current in this case so by ohms law current in a particular resistor is potential uske across divided by resistance that is 4 upon 11 upon 5 it will go up and it will be 20 upon 11 ampere it means in this circuit 20 upon 11 ampere current is flowing now the thing that should be kept in mind is this current is 20 upon 11 ampere which is flowing across 11 by 5 ohm resistor which in turn is the resultant of the series combination of these two resistors and in series combination current remains same it means 20 by 11 ampere current is flowing in this resistor also and in this one also why because these are connected in accordance with series combination and in series combination current remains same we have found current in this circuit this resultant circuit is 20 by 11 ampere this circuit is being made from the series combination so current is series combination ke resistors ke andar bhi same rahega it means i can say r1 is 1 ohm and current i1 i am using same subscript so that you will not get confused I1 is 20 by 11 ampere. Now, RP is 6 by 5 ohm. Humne isko RP naam diya hai. Look, 6 by 5 ohm. So, correspondingly current is IP 20 upon 11 ampere. Again, across this, the, uh, this particular resistor, that is R1, we are having current and the value of resistance. So, kya rahe gaya? Potential. Again, applying Ohm's law. Here also we will be applying Ohm's law and you will get the answer for potentials. 20 upon 11 into 6 by 5. Answer is 20 upon 11 volt that is V1 and for Vp answer is 24 upon 11 volt. Now you have got potential across this resistor that is iske cross potential hamare paas aa gaya 24 upon 11 volt 
This is the potential across 6 by 5 ohm resistor. Now this 6 by 5 ohm resistor had came from the combination from a parallel combination of R2 and R3. Or parallel combination mein kya same hota hai? Potential is same. So potential across 6 by 5 is 24 upon 11. It means same potential of 24 by 11 volt will flow in these resistors also. So again current in I2 we have to find out potential we had seen is 24 upon 11 volt R2 value is 2 ohm. Let's do it for I3 also. I3 we have to find out. V3 is again 24 upon 11 volt and R3 is 3 ohm. Let's calculate I2 that is V2 upon R2. We only have to shuffle Ohm's formula. We only have to shuffle Ohm's law in order to get the values for V and I in such kind of questions. So V is 24 upon 11, R is 2. So answer will be 12 upon 11 ampere. For this I3 is V3 upon R3 that is 24 upon 11 into 3 and the answer is 8 upon 11 ampere. Now after doing such a long question what you have to do is you have to encircle or you have to make squares on the particular part which is being asked in the question. For example first point part is total resistance you have to calculate. You can encircle the value of total resistance so that examiner can get to know ki haan, this is the answer and is correct. Next the current and potential across each resistor. So first resistor is 1 ohm. Is across first we will check current and potential. Current and potential. This is current and this is potential. Next V2 and I2. I2 is this one and V2 is this. Again then R3 sorry across R3 it's V3 and I3. These are the values for the current and potential. With these two numericals we had completed the chapter and if you want to practice some numericals topic wise just look different videos I have made and the link to those videos is given in description box. All the best. Have a nice day and thank you.